It's all about how you are affecting the person you are speaking to. It's all about a relationship. I don't want you choosing just fake words to this, to that, to berate, to tease, to just layering it in there for no reason. Really live and breathe in the person's shoes and think, what am I doing? How am I trying to affect them? And phrase it in an active way. Episode 10 from Beginner to Pro, how to perfect your acting skills with actions, objectives, and active verbs. Okay, actors, it's time to talk about some really advanced stuff here, so hold on tight. If you've watched the previous videos in episodes one through nine, if you haven't yet, start there and come back. You might wanna return to this video and watch it again and again as you work on a script. There are many great teachers in acting who refer to this next topic as many different things. I'm referring to actions in acting or otherwise known as, what are you doing? Right now, I'm not talking about what you're physically doing. The technique of using actions, objectives, and active verbs in acting is primarily associated with the Stanislavski system of acting. We'll make sure to put some links to books on his technique down below. This system is based on the idea of creating a sense of truth and believability in performance by using personal experiences, emotions, and motivations to develop a character. Stanislavski emphasized the importance of understanding a character's objectives and using active verbs to convey the character's motivations and emotions. These techniques have since become a fundamental part of acting training and are widely used by actors in both stage and screen performances. When working with kids, I like to say, what are you doing with your words to affect the other person? With each line, with each moment, in each section of the story. We'll get to more about other great master teachers of acting in future videos or just phrase it in your own words and really know why are you saying this? What do you mean? This is where we get into Amy Linden, the 15 guideline map to booking territory. Make sure to get her book, listener audible book. I'm going to link it right here because when she talks about how are you hearing what they're saying to you and what do you mean? What do you really mean? and talking around your words, around your lines, and layering the line on top of it, this will all make sense once you have listened to her book and or gotten this. Get it. You'll thank me. For now, I want to share some thoughts with you based on the Stanislavski system. We'll do a whole series in the future on Stanislavski and another on Stanislavski for kids. According to the Stanislavski theory, every choice the character makes should move them closer to their ultimate goal because they will always want to do something by the end of the story. Each character has a goal. Their actions are what they do in order to achieve that goal. What are you doing with your words to affect the person you're speaking to in order to get what you want? Let that affect how your lines come out. Don't worry about how it sounds or feels coming out. Your focus needs to be on your connection with the person you're speaking to or about. If you're focused on how you're trying to affect the other person with what you're saying, it will serve the story. The story is king. You are part of that story. Here's a sneak peek for you. In acting, actions, objectives, techniques used by actors to create believable characters and performances. By using these techniques, actors can create fully realized characters that engage the audience and tell a compelling story. To use these techniques, actors should first analyze the script to understand their characters' object objectives and motivations in each scene. They should then identify the actions that their character would take to achieve those objectives, such as persuading, threatening, comforting another character. Now remember right now, we're not necessarily talking about physical actions. Although you might execute a physical action to attempt to achieve a goal, this does not have to be physical. It may instead be what you're doing with your words. Now back to the topic of active verbs. Some actors find it useful to think in terms of active verbs. That reminded me, I want to tell you, you absolutely must get that little book. I'm putting the link. It is all about actions and active verbs. You will never have trouble phrasing it or stretching your imagination on that topic again. It's an awesome little book. You should get it. If this feels too scholastic for you, don't. But it's where I started and it helped me so much when I first learned how to break down a script. These verbs are powerful descriptive words that describe an action such as demanding, pleading, or flirting. 
active verbs help to convey a character's emotions and motivations and can add depth and complexity to their personality. For example, if a character is demanding in their speech and actions, the audience can understand that they are forceful and determined in their objectives. Here's a starter list of active verbs as examples. It may be helpful to phrase these in terms of what you're doing to make sure they truly are active. Can you add a to in front of the word you've uncovered and have it still make sense? For example, what are you doing? You might use the phrase to beg instead of begging. It's important to remind you that you are not pre-planning how to sound when you speak. You're simply investigating what your character is doing to affect the other person with your words. Before you try some out, I also want you to know that although this is where I began, I'll share other techniques that in some cases replace that. But for now, let's try some active verbs. Accusing, to accuse. Begging, to beg. Challenging, to challenge. Confronting, to confront. Comforting, to comfort. Deceiving, to deceive. Demanding to demand. Encouraging to encourage. Enticing to entice. Exposing to expose. Flirting to flirt. Greeting to greet. Insulting to insult. Intimidating to intimidate. Lying to lie. Motivating to motivate. Negotiating to, to negotiate. Persuading to persuade. Teasing to tease. That's just a start. We'll put a link in the comments to a great book we found that has a huge amount of active verbs to draw from for inspiration. But do you think about these things when you're on an audition or on the set? No, please don't. This is all your homework as you put yourself in the shoes of the character in the story. On the day of the shoot or on the day of your audition, just be alive, really sit and live and experience it. The magic will happen when you see the world through your character's eyes. Trust that your homework is already there. Now get out there and shine. Like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. Don't forget you can coach with me on Zoom. All that good stuff.